in the landscape of classic television, Lassie, which premiered in 1954, stands as an enduring symbol of the industry's ability to create timeless and heartwarming stories. What qualities have propelled this series to become an everlasting icon, leaving an indelible mark on the collective memory of audiences? Perhaps it's the unwavering loyalty of a collie named Lassie, or the timeless themes of companionship and resilience that resonate across generations. Amidst the varied roles portrayed in the series, one may wonder which character left the most profound impact on you. Whether it's the young protagonist Timmy or the wise and compassionate Lassie, each role contributed to the show's enduring appeal. As we delve into the world of Lassie, it's worth reflecting on our most cherished memories or personal experiences associated with this beloved series. What moments left an indelible mark on your heart? We invite you to share your stories and memories in the comments below. Before we embark on this nostalgic journey, let's set the stage with some random facts about Lassie. Did you know that the iconic Collie was played by multiple dogs, all contributing to the character's consistent charm? Or that the series enjoyed an impressive 19-season run, making it one of the longest-running shows in television history. Now, it's over to you. What enduring qualities, characters, or moments make Lassie special to you? Share your thoughts and memories below, and let's celebrate the timeless charm of this classic TV series. Lassie, the iconic television series that premiered in 1954, follows the heartwarming adventures of a remarkably intelligent and loyal rough collie named Lassie. Originating from Eric Knight's novel and the subsequent MGM film, the show quickly became a staple of American television. Set in the rural Miller family's home, the series showcases the unwavering bond between Lassie and young Timmy, played by John Provost. Timmy's escapades often find him in precarious situations, and it's Lass's extraordinary intelligence and courage that come to the rescue. The show's unique style lies in its timeless themes of loyalty, bravery, and the enduring connection between humans and their animal companions. Beyond its entertainment value, Lassie left an indelible mark on popular culture, influencing subsequent generations of pet-centric storytelling and solidifying the image of the heroic canine in the collective imagination. The show's enduring legacy is a testament to its ability to capture the essence of friendship and devotion, making it a classic in the annals of television history. The original Lassie TV series, debuting in 1954, featured the Miller family with Tommy Reddick as Jeff, Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen, and George Cleveland as Gramps. Notably, the first two seasons earned an Emmy Award each for the best primetime children's show. However, as Tommy Reddick outgrew his role, the show faced a pivotal change in its third season. Reddick left voluntarily, making way for the introduction of Timmy and his adoptive parents, the Martins. This transition marked a decline in critical quality, impacting the show significantly. Interestingly, the iconic whistle theme, synonymous with Lassie, was not introduced until season five. The initial four seasons used a more traditional orchestral theme for opening and closing credits. Meanwhile, Tommy Reddick's desire to leave the series after three seasons, combined with Jan Clayton's wish to return to musical theater, prompted the introduction of Timmy and accelerated cast changes. Despite the challenges, Lass's enduring popularity stemmed from the remarkable acting abilities of Pal J.R., a dog who portrayed Lassie and was the son of the original Pal from the MGM movies and TV pilot show. Lass's owner and trainer, Rudd Weatherwax, along with his dog's pal and pal JR, played a pivotal role in shaping the Lassie brand and its lasting impact on television history. In the realm of television history, the 1954 series Lassie stands as a symbol of enduring popularity and canine heroism. One intriguing facet of this iconic show is the choice to cast male dogs in the role of Lassie. The decision was not arbitrary, but rooted in practical considerations. Female collies tend to undergo significant shedding during each heat cycle, a phenomenon known as blowing coat. This shedding is more pronounced than the seasonal shedding experienced by males. Hence, to maintain a consistent appearance on screen and minimize distractions, the production team opted for male collies to portray the beloved rough collie. This decision not only addressed practical concerns, but also contributed to the lasting image of Lassie as a majestic and impressive canine companion. The tradition persisted even after spaying, 
which could mitigate the shedding issue in females, became commonplace. A belief that male collies, often larger than their female counterparts, would make a more visually striking impact on film further solidified this casting choice. Beyond the gender-related casting nuances, Lassie faced its share of challenges and triumphs. One notable instance was the departure of Robert Bray, who played a significant role in the series. After four seasons, Bray left the show, citing struggles with alcoholism. To protect him, a statement was released, attributing his exit to fatigue with the role. Sadly, this marked the end of Bray's acting career. Interestingly, even a television classic like Lassie had a formidable competitor in the form of the annual CBS television showing of The Wizard of Oz. From 1959 to 1967, this event consistently bumped Lassie off the air on Sunday evenings in the USA. The Wizard of Oz, a perennial favorite, temporarily eclipsed the beloved adventures of Lassie during those years. In delving into the layers of Lassie's history, from casting decisions to external competition, we gain a deeper appreciation for the complexities that shaped this enduring television series. The canine protagonist, portrayed by male collies, became an indelible part of American culture, transcending the screen and leaving a lasting legacy. Lassie, the iconic TV series, had its share of canine stars, but one collie stood out as the longest-serving Lassie. Baby, the grandson of the original pal, played the role for an impressive six years, until his sudden demise at the age of eight. Unlike other Lasses who lived to the age of 17, Baby's tenure was cut short, making him a unique figure in the Lassie legacy. Owned and trained by Rudd Weatherwax, Lassie wasn't just a television star, she lived to the remarkable age of 19. Weatherwax's dedication to Lassie's training and well-being contributed significantly to the enduring success of the series. Interestingly, the transition between the season starring Tommy Reddick and John Provost led to the syndication of earlier episodes under the title Jeff's Collie during Provost's era. Similarly, when Provost departed, his episodes were syndicated as Timmy and Lassie. This strategic move ensured that Lassie's presence remained on daytime TV, solidifying her status as a beloved TV canine companion. These facts about the canine actors and the strategic syndication choices offer a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes dynamics of the enduring 1954 TV series Lassie. From the legacy of Baby to Rudd Weatherwax's pivotal role in Lassie's training, and the calculated syndication decisions. Each aspect adds depth to the iconic series' history. As we bid adieu to the timeless tale of Lassie, let the echoes of barks and the rustle of the wind through the tranquil meadows linger in your mind. As you reflect on the 1954 TV series that brought joy to countless hearts, take a moment to journey back to the simpler times when the bond between a collie and her companion spoke volumes without uttering a single word. What memories does Lassie stir within you? Was it the unwavering loyalty, the daring rescues, or the heartwarming moments that left an indelible mark on your soul? Perhaps it's the subtle life lessons woven into the narrative, reminding us of the enduring power of friendship and courage. Now, dear friend, it's your turn to share your chapter in the Lassie saga. Whether it's a cherished childhood recollection or a recent revelation that reignited your love for this classic series, let your voice resonate. Share your thoughts, your fondest memories, or the lessons that still guide you today. In this digital age, let us create a tapestry of shared experiences, weaving together the threads of nostalgia that connect us across time and space. Your story, no matter how small, contributes to the grand mosaic of Lass's legacy. Thank you for embarking on this journey through the meadows of memory with us. Your time and reflections are treasures we hold dear. Until our paths cross again, may the spirit of Lassie continue to inspire us all.